Hey breadwinners, my name is Jenny Hanson Lane. Thank you for pressing play on this video. I wanted to break it down for you in this video of the niche validation success that you can have by focusing on a niche. So I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to talk about the cells that my books have made and what that has to do with niching down. This is just something I noticed and I thought I would share it with you to bring you along the journey. So once I validated a niche and I found where I wanted to publish, I already saw an existing book there that I thought I could compete with. And so I worked on the design. I looked at all the reviews that were negative and try to make mine better than that book. And I did that in February and then I turned on ads and now it is a ranked book. So the book in my KDP account that has generated the most income is this book. It's brought in $18,000 to date and I have probably spent a thousand or $2,000 on ads for this book so far. So once I started to see success for that book within the week of a couple cells, I decided to create a book like it, just like I tell you guys in the niche slap masterclass coming up that let's create compliments and substitutes and loose matches. Okay. And I'm not pushing this one with ads as much as this other one. This book one has on five campaigns for one book. Okay. But book two, like it still is a compliment and that's real money, right? So then I decided, you know what, this is a validated niche. Let's see what I can create in it. And so that's what I did with book three. And I figured out, you know, what is something that people are searching for that you don't see? So once I knew a book was selling based off of the keywords, I looked up really similar keywords and I kept doing it again and again and again. Okay. So this is only since February and then, um, all my top 10 books are in one niche except one and that's book five. And if you guys have heard my interview about my kids shop, this was a coloring activity book that I made with my kids and there was a need for this. And so that's why I created it for them. And then I bought a copy and then it kind of took off for a coloring book. I don't have very many activity and coloring books. So this was kind of fun to see this grow. So this will go into a account just for my kids and they can decide if they want to make more books with it or if they want to cash it out. They kind of want a Nintendo switch and I kind of want to convince them to reinvest, <laughs> but they're six and seven years old. So I really don't know. Okay. So that's the only one that's outside of this niche. And then book six is 190. And this is since February. So, um, I only put seven books in here cause these are the ones that have made over a hundred dollars. I have two to three pages. I think one page is 20 books. So I think I'd have to look at the numbers. I think I've, I have, um, 150 out of 400 books that have sold, but I'll have to check my percentage. I have, if you guys look through my playlist of Kindle direct publishing, for beginners, there's about 60 videos. And in the beginning, I, I share a lot of this, but, um, the point that I'm getting at is you don't always know what's going to sell. And they say 80% of your sales come from 20% of your books. And my first couple income reports, it was like 10 or 15%. And, and so finally it's at 22%. So I would like to raise that because as you guys know, if you're following me currently with my YouTube shorts and my YouTube posts that my sales are down this month and I might not hit $5,000 in sales. We're going to see it's um, not quite halfway through, but we're getting there. So this is really interesting to me because my top six books are all in one niche and it hasn't been a full calendar year, so I really can't make decisions and I'm not even really sure to back down on my ads yet. So, uh, you guys are just <laughs> along with the journey, riding the waves with me. So this is the power of validating a niche, right? There are, 
um, I would say out of the percent of the books that I have, the majority are in this niche. They're different stuff I'm trying. Yesterday I sold one in a different country and I, when I designed it, I wasn't even sure, but I was like, I'll just try it. So that was kind of validating to see a sell for that. It'd be nice if it picked up, but I, I try not to turn on ads for books until they have organically sold two or three, unless I'm really confident about the design, which book one, two, three, four, I was, uh, books six. I'm kind of wondering if I'll get bad reviews, but I still think it's better than the competition. So some of this stuff is trial and error. I'm really grateful for the people that are buying these books that believe them to be lovely. Um, I would buy them all, but I've published too many now. So this is the power of the niche slap, right? This is like, I, I found a niche and I like, I went all in and, um, de January, December, I, I'll research more niches because I want more book twos, right? I want more like, Oh, I've made a thousand book, a thousand dollars from this book. I want more book ones. So hang tight, keep publishing and remember to put yourself in your books because people are going to love that. Love you guys. Peace out.